everyone today I'm going to talk about overtime this overtime only apply to special certain cases only okay does it apply to all okay if something happen like let's say um, in Malaysia Malaysia okay Malaysia have okay let's say a person work on a rest day rest day okay this doesn't apply to other uh, software uh, mostly apply to uh, SQL only okay to SQL okay to SQL payroll okay payroll all right now um in rest day uh according to Malaysia law Malaysia law okay Malaysia let's say a person work 10 hours 10 hours 10 hours and in standard in standard law I mean let's say mostly company have follow Malaysia law accordingly eight hours equals to 1.5 and the overtime of then the extra of two hours it will go to two times like uh, in our case in our own uh, oh, chat time is called OD1 and this is called OD2 okay let's put OD2 am I right okay for this scenario okay but in a certain scenario another scenario let's say put a scenario 2 for those who don't follow this uh, basic relation law they do different way but it's not against relation law because they pay more okay a person work 10 hours on a rest day so 10 hours will be OT, OT level 2 so this one is definitely pay higher than the first one all right so in this scenario most uh, time data system can do it all right but not all okay so uh, some can do some cannot but I'm not going to that uh, which program can do not it's not our issue my issue here now is just telling you how to set in our system check time for these scenarios okay now I put another scenario here another scenario call on holiday okay on holiday okay on holiday let's have a scenario I call scenario one again okay, scenario one okay we put the same issue is they call 10 hours working okay let's say put 10 hours all right so 10 hours so 8 hours we go to level one okay then oh sorry okay also here is level two then as for next two hours will be level three okay OT three sorry OT three then in another scenario okay scenario two most company practice that okay 10 hours you work they will pay you 10 hours OT three levels okay which most some company practice okay as long even I mean you don't follow by it so you pay more than uh, people tend to ignore it all right because you pay more than I think all right so now how to do this one let's say you have this one these two scenario first okay I just go to first uh, scenario two first then I will go to scenario one all right because scenario is more basic things all right example okay I okay let's put right here sorry let's just minimize it so a bit easier so in a time table I created one it's called office morning all right start work at nine o'clock usually seven okay no sorry see it's five o'clock so finish five o'clock you got all these and all time as well all right now let's dig in okay in employee I create one employee called test okay in the view test is called John right here five 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 Okay, if you remember, all right, is it could work on well, Monday to Friday only, but Saturday is not working, right? So, um, I did certain thing. Let's go to make a report. Uh, look at the report first. Report, see the email record that I uh, made for it. Manual key, manual, manual key. Okay, so I got the next record. Test is under 555 John. Okay, I do it and I query it. All right, so as you can see there, on I I clock in at uh, 0550 and 20 okay during this time period time all right so on uh, this day I also clock in as well all right okay and so calendar this day is uh, I put it's a Saturday and this calendar is on Monday all right so let's continue on okay so um yeah so come to report first we see a report first okay I put John I carry up all right Sorry, I queue up. I see there's a detail there. Okay, gather details. 
So, um, as you can see that, um, Saturday morning, eh, this one. Oh yeah, I will remove it. For purpose of explaining how it will work, I remove this one first. The temporary uh, shadow I make. Okay, so I just make go back to here again. Alright, so join here. Okay, I go back to temporary shift. Sorry, temporary shift, I just want to remove it. Okay, just remove it, this temporary shift for walkers. Alright, so I remove it. Okay, I come back to you. So I uh, come to report here. Uh, join again. Okay, I queue it up. So when you come to queue here, then you can see that. Tenance. Okay, you see this time, and in all this one first, in this time. So Saturday has no timetable. So it will straight go to clock in and straight calculate how many hours it's working in under straight away OD2. This other scenario or second scenario OD2 straight. So how long will ever work? Then you pay a green OD2. Right? So you do it for clock in and clock out. Alright. So now this one is the thing. So how are you gonna change it? Let's say you follow the first scenario. Alright, let's go to the first scenario. But please make sure that also, uh, like under attendance rule, alright, attendance rule there, that's one uh, global setting for the everyone rest day. Let's say everyone rest day is on Sunday and Saturday, alright, that's two rest day, okay. So, now let's go to employee first, this one very important, please pay attention right here. So, application, okay, employee test, inside this John here, okay, double click, there's one called advanced option. In advantage, this is a rest day. Okay, enable rest day. Okay, let's start with it. Enable rest day first and then see how result will be. Okay, update. Now I close it and I exit. Okay, I come to report back again and I query again. And you can see that under detail attendance here, they work different way. Okay, oh, sorry, I haven't assigned the timetable because Saturday. If you didn't assign the data, the system may not know which timetable do you follow. So we go to employee here because it's this uh, person John is under uh, a fixed time. Okay, so go erase the first shift. I go assign one table, save another day's morning one. Okay, then I add. Okay, so we already add in already. Oh, sorry, sorry, not to this day. On the third, yes, on the third, I add onto it. Right, so I remove this one to open for as many purpose to avoid. Meaning okay, now let's go back to report again. Oh, uh, five join again, and I query. And you see detail attendance under detail attendance. You can see the Sunday because I will sign. Okay, then it will go push up to work hour because a certain company they this one push at work hour, they will pay them uh basic time, they don't pay their OD level one. Got some company practice that way. But not all, okay. Then this one will go to OD level two only. They come a counter do company practice that way, okay. This one go basic hour. This one will go to OD level two only. All right. So this is where this one will play part, okay. Will play part, okay. Will play part under sorry this one because uh, I maybe explain it wrong, okay. Maybe I just put another scenario right here, okay. Um, because scenario three, okay, uh, ten hours, then uh, put down further than eight hours. We go to basic work, okay. Then two hours, we say go to OT level two, right? So let's come back here, okay. So if you take one, then it will show that way. But let's say now we go further more. Okay, we want to separate out like in the scenario one. Okay, then we go back to option here. Take this enable rest day OT and click update again. Alright, now let's close it and exit. Alright, so let's come back again to the employee. Alright, to the so, so report. Okay, join again and I query again. Okay, you come and see here. And that will be, you see, you will separate according to here. Okay, I work here, OT level one and level 2 all right so it will separate out this one accordingly so okay so this one you follow away really, right so now let's come to public okay public holiday so I will arrange a public holiday let's say holiday I put it on fifth 
Give a follow day, then uh, let's say God happy. He called happy. We should one day. Okay, then I uh, add on day called happy for up. Okay, now let's click straight away. Okay, straight away. Um, what thing to setting to the uh, public holiday over time? Yes. So I uh, just look at the attendance, and you can straight away look at it. OT level three straight away because it's a it's a public holiday. Okay, so straight away. Why this uh got got happy because earlier on the fix. Uh, fixed time table you always set so it will follow directly and this one time will straight away go to OT level 3 10 hours all right so um, I will come like that so 10 hours so let's say a company doesn't work uh, like scenario 2 which I type out of a public holiday here doesn't go to scenario 2 let's say it go to okay another one scenario I forgot let's say it goes scenario Great. Um, ten hours. Yes, ten hours. Then um, eight hours. Basic work. Okay. Then uh, two hours. OT. Three. Okay. Yeah. It's right. Right. Really well. Yeah, has we do encounter some company work this way like that. Okay. Now let's close it back and we do some setting again. Okay, this most important part. Please pay attention. Employee has find the employee. Double click to it. Advanced option and take this enable public holiday and click update again. Now let's check again. Okay, for this, all right. Then exit, exit, and we process again. So it will be uh, different here. All right. So okay, let's click here and queue up. So uh, it will be right here again. So the uh, different, we will see this. You will look at our work basic hours and two hours going to the OT three. All right. So this one satisfies certain company scenario, but okay. Let's say we change another scenarios. All right. Okay. Now let's go back to here employee again, which already got done here. Yep. Okay. Go test. Right. Go five five five. Okay. Then uh, one option. Then come. Click this enable, click update again, and click save, and we come to here again. Uh, report, and you see report again. Alright, so I select 555 again, and query. Details attendance, you can you separate this way according to the scenario 1. Alright, so scenario 1, can we separate like this? Okay, so we separate up like this. Alright. And uh, this one also apply to, as I said earlier, as to uh, SQL payroll, not for others. Okay, for this one, uh, SQL payroll, they will ask you which uh, the uh, OT will be. So the OT will follow attendance through inside here. Uh, give me one. Yep. Uh, inside this advanced function. So yeah, advanced under this one, though, the code will be here. Unless the worker inside got uh, each follow different code. Then you don't. Then you can go to back to each employee here. Double click here. Okay, double click the employee. Let's double click. Wow. Go to advanced option. It's under the code right here. OT one, OT two, and OT three. So I hope this one uh explain uh the issue raised by the SQL payroll. All right, the users. So I have this one help a lot apart. Okay, because uh. A lot of time we spending to develop that way, all right. So, um, in any query, you just go back to our dealers or hours and we just try to reply when as soon as possible, okay, regarding the issues, all right. So, uh, this part is probably for SQL payroll for the overtime, uh, separation, separation for that, all right. So, any queries, uh, questions, just uh, kindly email first, uh, anything we just uh, reply to you all, okay. That's all for now. So uh, thank you for your time for going through this overtime about uh, SQL payroll. So it takes some time a bit longer to explain. Uh, so I hope uh, this will help you a lot. And thanks for your patient time for this video tutorial. Thank you for me, John. Bye bye. Get your check time biometric system today. For more info, visit our website www.check-time.com.